Hi, I'm TJ Donigan from Reviewed.com and we're here to talk about the Nikon D7500. So the D7500 is actually a follow-up to some previous cameras like the D7200, D7100 that we really enjoyed because it always has been a series that gives you a little taste of what a professional DSLR would give you, but usually costs right around $1,000 versus, you know, $2,000, $3,000. Now this one's a little more expensive. It's uh, right around $1,250 just for the body, and that does not include the lens, so it would just be for this part, and then you'd have to buy a lens separately. You can buy it with the lens, but that's gonna cost you closer to fifteen or $1,600, um, which obviously at that point, you're dealing with a pretty significant investment, and you're also bumping into some of Nikon's better cameras, like the D500, which is really more of a higher-end camera, but again, the prices are that close. Now the D500 is really interesting because it's actually one of our favorite cameras we've ever tested. And again, it's only a couple hundred dollars more than this. In general though, the things that make the D500 uh, a little more expensive and a little more professional grade, like having two memory card slots and being a little bit faster, having a little nicer focus, uh, aren't gonna matter for a lot of people who are just sort of shooting on the weekends or shooting family functions or if you have grandkids or something like that. Um, so in that case, it actually does represent a nice way to get the same quality as the D500, the actual image sensor, all the stuff that makes a picture inside of it is identical without having to spend quite as much money. And you can save you know, a few hundred dollars and put that towards uh, a lens that you might really want or something that suits what you wanna actually shoot. So uh, one of the reasons you'd wanna buy this camera versus some other cameras is you're getting a little bit of everything. So for video, if that's what you're interested in, you can shoot 4K video, you can shoot 1080p video. Um, it's got a really nice flip out screen, which is great for video. It's got a mic port, it's got everything you might want. And then if you wanna shoot action, it's got a really nice autofocus system. It shoots eight frames a second, which is about this fast. Pretty good. It gives you a little bit of everything if you wanna shoot action, you wanna shoot just really good photos, whether you're into wildlife or landscapes or whatever. Um, or if you wanna do video, it can do it all. And again, it's only about 1250 for just the body. And then you can sort of add lenses on. If you're serious about photography and you're gonna buy a camera you're gonna use for you know, five, 10 years, this is really a good investment because it gives you a little bit of everything. If you wanna read all of our test results, see our sample photos, and then read our full opinion on the Nikon D7500, I'd encourage you to check out our review. Just go to cameras.review.com.